Hello friends. In this video, I'll explain different laws of exponents. All the rules of exponents are used to solve many mathematical problems which involve repeated multiplication process. The laws of exponents simplify the multiplication and division operations and helps to solve the problems easily. I have already uploaded a video where I have explained the basic concepts of laws and exponents. The link to that video is given in the description box. You can check that out later. Let's begin. For the sake of convenience, the exponent rules have been named differently. So the first law is product law. This law states that when the numbers having the same base are multiplied, just add the exponents. With a to the power m and a to the power n, how many times do we end up multiplying a? The answer is first m times then by another n times for a total of m plus n times. For example, if we have same base a but with different powers and the bases are being multiplied, in that case the final answer will be the addition of the exponents. This law is also applicable for negative terms and that is why the term m and n can be any integer. For example, 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 4 can be written as 2 to the power 3 plus 4 and which is equals to 2 to the power 7. And it means that 2 is being multiplied to itself 7 times. Let's see some simulations for this law. Suppose we have n square multiplied by n square. The expanded form of this will be n into n into n into n and that is equals to n to the power 2 plus 2. So final answer will be n to the power 4. Now we have n to the power 4 multiplied by n square that is equals to n to the power 4 plus 2 and the final answer will be n to the power 6. Suppose we have a to the power 4 into a to the power 7. In that case same base 8 the powers get added it will become a to the power 4 plus 7 that is a to the power 11. Now let's take another example. We have two terms here. These are algebraic terms and if they are in multiplication, product rule says that constant gets multiplied to constant. So you'll get 6. In the first term, x is only one time. That is why x to the power 1. The exponent of x in the second term is 3. So 1 plus 3 here. Similarly for y, 2 plus 4. So the final answer is 6 into x to the power 4 into y to the power 6. law is quotient law. This law states that when the numbers having the same base are divided, just subtract the exponent. For example, if we have same base a with numerator a to the power m and in the denominator we have a to the power n. In that case, the final answer will be a to the power m minus n. If m is greater than n and if n is greater than m, then we have to take the reciprocal to keep the exponent as positive only. Just like the previous law, how many times do we end up multiplying a? Answer is m times then reduce that by n times because we are dividing for a total of m minus n times. This law is also applicable for negative terms and that is why all a, m and n are integers. <laughs> Now the next law is power law. This law states that they multiply the powers when the numbers are raised by another number. Which means suppose we have a to the power m whole power n. This is equals to a to the power m into n. Which means that if we have base a, it needs to be multiply m times. Then you have to do that for n times for a total of m into n times. For example, 2 to the power 2 whole power 3 means 2 to the power 2 into 3. That is equals to 2 to the power 6.
power of a quotient law. This law says that divide the powers with the same exponents having different bases. For example, if we have different bases a by b with the same power n, then we can write it as a by b whole power.